Before the video starts, my buddy Yoshi Claps does not believe he can reach 1k subscribers in the next 5 days. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel in the description. It'd be amazing if you do, and enjoy. Alright, so if you don't know what ding dong ditching is, it's pretty much when you go up to a random house, ring the doorbell, then run off to hide and wait for a reaction. Throughout high school, I've done a lot of ding dong ditching with my siblings and cousins, and there's definitely something that defers our kind of ding dong ditching from the rest. And it's that we do it at 3am. Why? I don't know. I think it's more interesting that way. But this story I'm about to tell is the reason why I stopped. About two and a half years ago, two of my brothers and I were staying with my cousins for the summer. We went outside a few times, but we mostly played video games. From FIFA to COD to Smash Bros even. After being unproductive and just having fun for hours, we decided we'd go ding dong ditching. Now we've done it a lot before, so it wasn't new to us. Except for one of my brothers, who was 12. This was his first time. But we decided to bring him along anyways, because we thought he was quick enough. Even for his age, he can run a decent 16 to 17 miles per hour. And just like that, we now had five people in the group. Two of my brothers and two of our cousins. And now, we just had to wait for the 3 a.m. mark. Finally, it was time. We were in the basement and their parents were home, so we had to make our way up the stairs quietly. After successfully making it up the stairs without any noise, we tiptoed our way out of the front door. We were now outside. And to make our 12 year old brother feel safer, we had him stay in the middle of the line. After walking for only 30 seconds, I felt the temperature drop significantly. I know during the summer, even the temperature can drop pretty low at night. But this was something else, and I actually got goosebumps from it. This made me look around and realize how scary the neighborhood actually looked. I don't remember why, but suddenly, I just looked down. And for a second I noticed something at the corner of my eye. It was a person walking rapidly from the opposite side of the block to ours. I realized it and looked up immediately. But to my surprise, there was no one. Not even two seconds later, my cousin who was in front of us said, Wait, did you guys see that? I immediately told him I saw someone walk out from behind that tree. Everyone else was looking at the both of us now. My other cousin and my brothers said we should still go anyways, because all of us clearly saw that there was no one anywhere else to be seen. It was just the five of us. So we continued to walk. Not even a few seconds later, we all stopped at the exact same time. The reason I stopped was because I felt this huge breeze go through me, and I took that as a sign that if we went any further, something was going to happen. I don't know why everyone else stopped, but I'd like to think it was for the exact same reason. We all looked at each other for a moment, and I said to them, I swear I saw someone walking by that tree. And just like that, we all knew this wasn't the night. For the first time ever, we called off the ding dong ditching. We quietly jogged back to the house. We only walked about a block out, so it wasn't that far away. But right before my brother was about to enter the driveway, my oldest cousin stopped him. He told us to follow him and do whatever he said. Let me quickly explain. So I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with this, but for my people and where I'm from, we believe that if you think you're being followed by something like a ghost, it's best to not go home right away. Because if you do, you're basically allowing them in, and that can lead to many bad things. But I'm not well educated on this kind of thing, so I'm not going to get that deep into it. But yeah. That is the reason why my cousin stopped us. So we walked away from the house, obviously going in the opposite direction of the way we just came from. We walked out about three blocks and then walked into some random yard. My cousin said out loud, All right, this is our home. We're going to a friend's house and we'll be back soon. Now we all knew it was an act, but I mean, it definitely would have looked funny if we were caught by someone. After that, we all quietly walked back to the house. We also didn't talk about it for the whole night. To this day, I'm not sure what my cousin and I saw. Was it a ghost-like creature? Or was it an actual person waiting for us by that tree? I'm really curious, but I also think it's better being remained as a mystery.